Hello and welcome. My name is Carl. I'm Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango. We are out in the British summer, which only means one thing: we have to have a bit of protection. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a very simple, very quick video to show how simple we can build a 20 meter quarter wave antenna, a wire antenna. Uh, this morning I had a Facebook conversation with uh, one of my fans, <coughs> my fan, and um, the chap asked a question about taking the MP1 super antenna for uh, SOTA work. And I said that the MP1 super antenna is really, it is compromised antenna. If you're working QRP, it is very difficult, very challenging to work on 20 and 40 meters with the MP1 super antenna. Unless you're going to use uh, 50 watts or more, that's only where that's you can maybe get some contacts with the MP1 with that sort of power. Uh, on the higher bands, 10 meters uh, and some VHF, then you can get some usefulness out of the super uh, MP1 super antenna. But that that so that made me think. Okay, what's the most simplest antenna that I can build today in my lunch break? Bring out this evening and just try and get an antenna in the air, very lightweight, uh, for 20 meters. So, I've, I've built this. Um, so basically, I'm using a, you may have seen this on the previous video, this is the uh, Spirit of the Air. It's, I think it's a five meter, I think it's a five meter telescopic pole. This is a rod that you drive in the ground that you then put the pole over so the pole is freestanding so that gives me about five meters four meters something like that um, and then in this bag uh, I have <coughs> make sure you bring your fluids uh, sun cream uh, but most importantly in here uh, nice and neatly I've got a uh, piece of uh, feed line coax um, and using a banana plug uh, I've created a, uh, about about 15 meters of radials and 10 15 meters of radials uh, and then here I have a radiator so initially I cut this to a quarter wave Cut this to the quarter wave using the quarter wave calculator. Uh, the, this wire from SOTA beams has a velocity of 0.97. So you work out the um, <clears throat> you work out the quarter wave, which is something like two, three, four, um, divided by the frequency, and then multiply that by 0.97 gives you a quarter wave uh, radiator. However, as you noticed, I've got a join on there. Because what I did at home to get this working, it doesn't, it's too long for this pole, so I wound it around the pole to shorten the length of it. And because I shortened the length of the wire, the actual winding of the wire, the helical winding, actually shortened the electrical length of the wire. So I've had to stick onto this. I think it worked at about five meters, five meters, 4.9 odd meters to that point. But then I stuck on an extra, um, I stuck on an extra 135 centimeters onto that. And if I um, helical wind this round the around the pole, and then that bit is almost um, at the top of the pole with that hanging down like that, I get. Uh, absolute bang on SWR for 40.100 megahertz. So that's the plan. I'm going to um, get this onto the pole. I've got some tape, good old tape. So freestanding pole, helical wound wire, radials, and then in here I've got the Zegu 108G, uh, which will give me 20 watts and also give me an, a, a, an SWR reading as well a makeshift SWR reading so I'll crack on with this bring it back in a minute and hopefully it should be bang on I'm hoping to make at least one contact with this 
because at home I could only receive one or two stations because it's quiet. It's not dead, but it's quiet. I'm hoping I can actually try and get a contact here. SWR, it's very difficult to see on here. Let's just try and... Here, Getting, so, um, uh, it's quite a bit different uh, US ahead. on the sounds like a five nine, very clear signal. Very strong signal for US. That's looking good. It's receiving well. It's a bit of a breeze blowing. I'm hoping that the um the spike have got in the ground is deep enough that it doesn't um keel over when I need to use it. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Many thanks uh, for the contact, Anatoly, for, uh, for the information for you. Uh, well, it's picking up really well um, <coughs> compared to my home setup. Um, Picked up a US, um, picking up some Italian stations. I've not made a contact yet, it's only been about 15 minutes. I'm absolutely roasting here. Uh, we've got some QSB, it's taking some of the stations right down and bringing them back again. So that, that Italian station's Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Two Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Two echo. Two echo zero. Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Yes, the two echo zero station portable. Please again. Yeah, this is two echo zero. Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Uh, you sound. You are five nine five nine into the UK QSL. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the five nine in the UK. Uh, two echo zero. Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Yeah, Roger, Roger, all copy there, guy. The name here was Carl. I'm situated uh, in between Manchester and Birmingham in the UK. I've gone to some high ground with a quarter wave helical wound wire antenna using 20 watts, 20 watts into a wire antenna, which is just on a very short fishing pole. On a very short fishing pole on high ground in um, a place called Stoke-on-Trent. Stoke-on-Trent in the central part of the UK, uh, QSL. Okay, right, uh, two Echo Zero, Echo Zero Tango, that is Lima X-Ray 1, that's Sanchez. Yeah, that's what the mother of returning. Okay, so great, thanks very much. Thank you for your information there. I uh, copy you there 100% very big signal you have here in that great 59 plus doing the whole transmission. 59 plus. And then working uh, at about 100 plus out the power in the peaks to the 6 band 2 of a man's cubicle quad. You can see the quad there on geoz.com. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the nice contact uh, there from uh, 
Yeah, Manchester, PS3, my three one, Sierra Go. Wishing all the best. 73, Carl, bye bye, and good luck. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, to have a good day. And 73 from 2 Echo Zero, Echo Zulu Tango Portable. Bye bye, good luck, my dear friend. <laughs> Yay, it works. In fact, I think I could bring the whole station in a carrier bag. I could have my some fruit in there, I could have a nice drink, I could put some bit of wire, I can even fish, put the actual fishing pole into the uh, carrier bag and I reckon I could squeeze in the radio with a battery all inside a nice little plastic bag. Happy days. Who needs a backpack when you can do this? In fact, could you get this into a briefcase? Not a a little briefcase and, and pretend you're going to work. Like you can leave the house in the morning, bye dear, I'm off to work, carry a little briefcase out. When she's not looking, you could run to the hills, set up a very quick antenna like this, and work radio all day. I'm overheating, I'm really hot. Um, I'm gonna try and get one more station in the log, or on video, all right, and then head back to the car, because um, I'm starting to melt here, but, uh, uh, yeah, getting it, getting it. I'm receiving quite a few stations. Uh, I reckon if I stayed out a bit longer, I could get more into the log easy. Um, so, if I don't get any more before I end this video, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Um, and please tell anybody that is interested in amateur radio to, uh, to follow the uh, channel. Uh, I'll try and put some details actually of this uh, antenna, um, basically just pieces of wire using a uh, banana connector uh, and then just mess about with the lengths until until you can uh, use an analyzer get it working. But anyway, um, happy days, look forward to the next video, bye bye for now.